Most people think that creativity is something that happens to you randomly, or maybe not even at all if you don't consider yourself a so-called creative person, but the truth is that there are practical strategies that you can use to stimulate creativity. In this video, I'm going to share with you my three best secrets for never-ending creativity. Some of them might surprise you. If you desire to be financially free, then you have to have a business, and in order to have a successful business, you have to be creative. A lot of people who start businesses don't realize that they need to be creative in order to succeed. They see business as straightforward and analytical, and they can just leave the creativity to the musicians and the painters and the pot-smoking hippies, but, but the truth is that even the most basic and straightforward businesses require some degree of creativity. You could be a plumber, for example, and you still need to be creative because it's completely on you to figure out how to get in front of your customer, and then how to hold your customer's attention, and then how to convey the value of your business or your service to your customer. Everybody needs to do marketing, and marketing is creative. Now, if you've been following me, then you know that I create a lot of content. I do two YouTube videos a week. I have to come up with topics and content that people want to listen to. And on top of that, I'm always writing ads and sales letters and emails, etc. And then I have to come up with creative ways to tie them all together. I figured out how to put out a lot of content on a consistent basis, and I've boiled my process down to three fundamental secrets. The first secret, which is probably the most obvious, is just to consume a lot of content. That means read books, watch videos, listen to podcasts, buy online courses, look at other people's ads and sales pages. The more you learn, the more you can share. Don't be too narrow about your study either. You want to cover a variety of topics. It's good to have one primary topic, but to branch out a little bit as well. Think about the most interesting people you already like to listen to on YouTube. Probably, you find these people interesting, at least in part because of how they manage to tie in knowledge from seemingly unrelated fields to their primary topic. For example, one of my favorite YouTubers is Jordan Peterson because I love the way that he ties in philosophy and psychology. Or Elliot Hulse in the connections that he finds between psychology and physical health and performance. Or Joe Dispenza who integrates his knowledge of neurology and quantum physics into his message of spiritual development. If you study different topics, you'll start to see connections that probably nobody else is talking about. So it gives you a lot of very unique, very interesting content. I've been studying spirituality a lot lately, and I'm going to tie that in later in this video. Talking about spirituality on the topic of marketing and entrepreneurship sounds a little bit weird, right? But you'll see how it makes sense. If you start taking in content about different things, you'll be surprised how many connections you find in fields that you may have thought were completely unrelated. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up button because it makes the YouTube algorithm like me. And if you want more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything good. And of course, share the video if you also think it would be helpful to anybody else. Okay, now secret number two is to have conversations with your audience. Your audience is made up of real people and they all have their own goals and dreams and aspirations and fears and prejudices and suspicions. If you can learn what those things are, you can speak directly to the things that are the most important to the people that you are serving. There are a million ideas you can get just by listening to your audience. The easiest way is just to ask. There are endless questions that you can ask. Ask, what are their dreams? What are their short-term goals? What's their greatest fear? What's their greatest success? What are they most proud of? What is their greatest regret? What are the greatest obstacles to their success? There are endless possibilities. That's how I got the topic for this video, by the way. I just asked my email subscribers what is the greatest obstacle to their success, and one person said that it was lack of creativity. That's where I got the topic for this video. I figured out how to get over that particular obstacle, so I decided to share in a video for the benefit of that reader, and probably there are a lot of other people that struggle with lack of creativity as well. Now, when you ask your audience, you need to be a little creative with your questions as well, because your audience doesn't always know what they need or know what they lack. So think in terms of their most basic motivations, their hopes, their dreams, their fears, etc. Like Henry Ford famously said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have told me a faster horse. So find ways to offer people what they actually desire in ways that they might not have thought of. Now, my third secret to creativity is to ask your higher self or your spirit guides. Maybe you've noticed that inspiration doesn't come from you, it comes to you. You can't think your way into coming up with a good idea. That's probably why you're watching this video, because you figured out that that doesn't work. That's because ideas come from a spiritual source. They do not come from your brain. 
I've mentioned before that this is how I come up with video topics on demand if I don't have an actual question that I'm addressing. My success rate using this method is 100%. It has never failed me. This is where the spirituality and religion becomes relevant. See, your physical brain retains memories and experiences from your current physical lifetime. But you also have a higher mind, which knows everything from the lifetime of your spirit, which is a lot longer than your physical earthly existence, so there's a lot more knowledge to draw on. You also have spirits who are assigned to watch over you, and they are always looking out for your best interest. If you are on your purpose, if you are doing what you came to this earth to do, then they will be more than happy to assist you and to give you inspiration and ideas if you ask them. Now, if you're rolling your eyes because this is too woo-woo for you, hear me out. I understand because a year or two I would have been rolling my eyes too, but I gave this method a chance and it has worked without fail. Also, I've seen some pretty wild stuff over the past year or two that I couldn't possibly explain with my old so-called rational mindset, but that's a topic for another day. Remember that faith is better than doubt. Having doubt might make you feel good about yourself for how smart and reasonable you are, but it's not productive. The sort of knee-jerk doubt and skepticism that most people have about anything outside the limits of their societal programming is one of the big reasons that most people never do much of anything with their lives. So I don't expect you to believe all this stuff just because I tell you, and maybe I'll make future videos talking about how I learned this, but I'm going to show you the practical strategy where you can use this knowledge to get creative content. You don't have to believe, you just have to be willing to suspend disbelief for long enough to try and see if it works for you. So here's what you have to do, it's pretty simple. Just ask the question that you want an answer to, like what's the best topic for your next blog post, for example. Then quiet your mind and wait for an answer to appear. This is either your higher mind or your spirit guides talking to you. How long exactly it will take you to get an answer, I can't say for sure, but I've never had to wait more than five minutes. Now, if you don't know exactly what I mean when I say quiet your mind and you're not familiar with meditation, I'm not going to explain how to meditate here, but there's a million videos on YouTube all about how to do basic meditation, so check that out. And that's all you're really doing here. You're meditating with the intention to get the answer to a question. I would recommend that you practice meditating regularly even when you're not trying to come up with creative content. I meditate every day because the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Sometimes I sit down and quiet my mind and I get the answer before I've even finished asking the question. But just like any other skill, quieting your mind is a little difficult at first and it takes some practice. So I think that will help you a lot if you want to be more creative and come up with more good ideas. If you want to learn more about how spirituality affects your success in business and just about everything else in your life as well, check out this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.